Hello, welcome to the video for what is text, the format text node. I've gone ahead and created a quick little example here. And as you can see, pretty much nothing's going on. That's because we haven't actually set up our text node. So we're going to go ahead and cover it and see how it works. So this is our format text node and I've put a little bit of text actually in it. If we go ahead and we pull up our format text node, it's in our text section. And you're going to find this is what it looks like. So how it works is basically the goal of the format text node is to allow you to easily insert other text into a text node. So here we can see I wrote the animal goes sound. And if you notice animal is surrounded by the curly braces and sound is surrounded by the curly braces. There we go. Let's zoom in a little better. Okay. And what that does is anything in curly braces will be created as an input pin. And the name inside, the word inside the curly braces will be the input pin name. So as you can see, I have the animal goes sound. So for example, if I had dog and I had moo, what's going to happen when we run this is we're going to see the dog goes moo. Because what it does is it replaces the animal input with what we have in here and the sound input with what we have in here. And of course you can simply, you know, insert any, it's an input pin so you can put anything you want in there. You know, this could be cat, for example. It's just a normal input and we'd have the cat goes moo. Keep in mind it's going to replace it exactly. So if you don't have a space, then it's not going to have a space. Like if we did something like that, we're going to, of course, get no space. It's just a simple replacement and it's nice and easy. Now, there is one different version of format text, which is unlocked if you actually put in an input directly. If you notice this here, once we have a format in here, we actually have arguments here. If we were to put in something like this, a direct input, we unlock the add pin. And when we're over here, we can now add pins directly and we can name them, you know, animal. And then you can name maybe the next one sound. And we'll name the last one location. And as you can see, this would be our new one. Let me go ahead and zoom out a little bit and put our second one in and run this. And of course, we're going to see nothing because even though we have an animal, a sound and a location here, our actual literal text here doesn't have those inputs in the brackets. We'd have to have, you know, like my animal goes location. And then if we were to put in an animal like a moo and a sound like a bark and a location like a house, and we went ahead and ran this. We're going to see my moo goes house. And of course, it's going to ignore the sound input because we don't have a sound indicator here for a sound variable. So that is what our format text node is. Those are two different ways of using it. Basically, it allows you to have kind of like wild cards inside of your input text, in which you can replace with variables. So it's a good way of maybe my character has 400 hit points if you want to write that out into a string or the father is named bill but bill is a wild card because it's a player's input and you don't actually have it set up in advance and you don't want to use any sort of appending or anything like that you can just format the text like this so that's it if you have any questions or comments please feel free to leave them below